All right, Kevin here with MyETVs.com. We're going to show you all how to assemble the Taltal CY Fit 150A today. Um, I've already got it on a stand. We've already uncrated it. It's all ready to go. You can watch our uncrating videos if you need help with that. I have it on a jack stand here. If you don't have a jack stand, you're going to need probably two people to assemble this one because of the rear shocks. So, Dave, if you want to come on down, the first thing we're going to do is do a rear shock. In order to do the rear shock, you need a 13 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, and your Loctite. And it can be kind of tricky. I'm just going to use my two bolts that I got that came in my bag that was under the seat when I uncrated it. And I've saved all my uh, bolts, separated them. Just going to put a little bit of Loctite on it. And this is where you're probably going to need two people. But I'm just going to line my rear shock up with the sleeve here. Make sure it goes all the way through. Get my nut on the back started. Go ahead and tighten it down with the 14 on the back and the 13 on the front. Don't be afraid to tighten these down good. Come over and complete the process on the other side. All right, now we're going to install the front steering column. First thing you want to make sure is that your forks are pointing in the forward position as close as possible. And then we're going to carefully just take our sleeve, slide it up and over onto our shaft. And that'll slide down. You want to get your 13 and 14 millimeter ratchets, and you want to get the remaining uh, two inch bolt out of the bag and the nut. You also want to make sure that you get your washer. This is the most important part. It's a little U-shaped washer. That's going to go on our bolt first. With the U facing outward, so that's going to go right into our column. Put a little Loctite on it. And then slide it right through the center column. You're going to have to raise up on the steering column just a little bit to get that to go all the way through. If you can, Dave, try to zoom in on this for him. Now this is how you want your washer to set. You want it to set all the way down in between those pieces of metal where that U on that washer is setting on your shaft. So it's wrapping around your shaft a little bit there. We'll go ahead and put the rear nut on it. You can go ahead and twist your steering column now. It's on there. my nut on the back and go ahead and tighten the steering column down. Don't be afraid to tighten this thing up, it's not going to hurt anything. Alright, now your front steering column's off. Alright, now we're ready to put the front hood on. I've went ahead and just snipped off a little bit of my plastic clips right here. You can snip all those off just a little bit, leave enough for it to bite in there, but you can snip some of them off. And I've put my metal screw fasteners on the plastic. You just snap them off. Now on the bottom two on this, you notice down here, those two you're not going to put on here. There's two more metal snaps. Those go on the bottom of the scooter. Go ahead and just slide those in. See the 
this slots down here for them. Okay, I have those in place. Now what I can do is go ahead and hook up my front headlight. Make sure it snaps into place. And carefully slide my hood on. Now once I have the bottom in, I can go ahead and put my two screws in the bottom. I won't tighten these all the way up, but I am going to get them started good so it holds the hood in place. Put my other screw in. play with these a little bit because they're kind of finicky to get in the screw slots. But. Okay, have those two started. Grab some of my other screws and come to the back. While I'm doing this side, I'll turn it to the to the right here. But just carefully start maneuvering this into position to line up your screw holes. I'm gonna start one of my screws down here. I'm just gonna line it up. Start screwing it. And we've got that screw in. I'm going to go to the other side to the other side. Making sure my plastics are lined up. Then you have your two screws in the top here. We put those in. Side. And just take your time with this front hood. You're better off taking two hours to assemble a scooter, make sure it's done right, than trying to rush through it anyway. Tighten this side down here. And if you want to come to the side here, Dave, that's how you want it. A pretty decent seam here. There might be a little gap in it but it's not going to be much, but you want it fairly tight and snug on there. And that's your front hood installation.